Hey folks, welcome to the Custom Designs, where you are on a construction site, my house, and we uh, are going to do a video here uh, on the Husky 7000 lumen twin head LED work light. That's a mouthful. So you can pick this up at uh, Home Depot. I'm not sponsored by Home Depot. I just buy products from there. I'm sure they're glad for that. So this just seemed like a no-brainer. This was the the strongest Husky uh, with with regards to lumens that they had. They had one a little bit smaller for ninety nine dollars. This one here, uh, uh, two lights, but uh, I think it was more like five thousand lumens uh, each. And this one here, you can see that's probably going to illuminate uh, this area because I have to take this light down. Because I gotta put that rock up there, my friends. So, all right, let's go ahead and set this guy down in my little uh, shop mate. Isn't that beautiful? Stand has different uh, views. I'll show you that. Different angles so that you can set it down. For example, there. That happens to suit my needs. So, all right. We're going to unbox it. I'm going to do a part two. Um, where it's just going to be together. This is not all about how do you put this together. But sometimes it can be fun to do an unboxing of a product. This looks like it's the stand. Let's go ahead and take that out. And for all I know, I'll be able to just go ahead and put this together without pausing it. So here we go. This is long overdue. I'm 55 years old and I've been working. I had a shop, a humble shop in the beginning, but uh, you know how it is. You just don't have funds available to you. Um, to get luxuries like this. So this is uh, going to suit me well, I can tell. Okay, let's see here. Alright. There we go. There it goes. Move it back a little bit when we get uh, all set. All right, that, that clocks that in. Again, this is going to be just wonderful for what I have to do. I'm not sure why that's not screwing in. So, there it goes. Okay. All right. This actually looks like it has. Possibly the quick release. The box tells you that you have to pick up. Okay, the space here. And the impressive parts are going to be the actual. I'm going to do that. My experience is you don't get too far. Don't go too far when you're putting something together when it doesn't even work in the first place. You know, take it back. So much I've learned. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit more. Sorry, you guys watching on big televisions. Probably gonna be drowning now. Okay. All right. There we go. Looks like we have the cords are tied, uh, synced together. So 
it's definitely a proprietary situation going on up there, but it, it does feel pretty strong. Nice cord. Um, <laughs> very interesting uh, fact here. Where it, amongst the, all the LED units, both small and then this one here, um, there was the old school. Um, make sure they're off. Looks like they were in, in the on position. Um, perhaps the testers neglected to take care of that. So what I'm going to do is try not to blind, uh, blind myself. I'll just set it over here. Turn it on. And make sure you don't look directly at that. Anybody in the living room, you want to cover your eyes. Because this is going to be bright. Okay, indeed, they were left on, so whoever tested these didn't turn them off. Alright. Wow. Holy light. That's what you would expect from these lights. So, you know, the halogen lights. There was a halogen light there. And uh, that was $29. Because, uh, okay, this is going to do the job, my friends. This is lighting up the entire uh, instruction site. And you know how it is. And I used to paint back in. 90s and you can't have enough light. If you're ever painting at night, you don't want to have issues because you couldn't properly see. So there you go. Imagine now these guys on the uh, the stand, and I'll be able to tilt them in such a way where they'll be very effective. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Wow talk about LEDs and the LEDs are all compacted into a little circle like this that's impressive all right what else we got in here well, this would be the stand for the uh, for the lights so indeed, um, let's see if this is the quick release or not. They speak of some quick release. And I think this has the quick release, which means the staff at, at Home Depot didn't know buying more often or not. They just don't know what they have. They don't have the time to learn about all this. So this clearly uh, sits here. Looks like you can screw this into here. All right, and then indeed this does have the quick release. So when I go back to Home Depot, I will tell the young man that was ever so curious himself why what the deal was with the quick release. Now I just almost bent this little uh, release. I am a little strong, I guess. And I just bent it, so be careful when you're doing that. I'll show you what I mean. So right here is the, the quick release. It basically pushes a, a little uh, half round with the inside of it carved out. There's not much light in here. But uh, you just push this over and it locks it in. So there you go. It has the quick release. Again, I'm not impressed with how easily this bent on me. So you know that's one of the first things that's going to go. Maybe that's why they stated it's sold separately. 
while it, it actually is included. All right, guys. I think uh, you've got quite the imagination there, and you know that. Uh, oh, this is a handle, by the way. This is nice because you can, if this is the floor mount and you're not on the tripod, you can just pick it up and move it like that. That's pretty handy, I would say. No pun intended there with the handy. All right. And it looks like the two units, be very careful here, don't want to drop anything, we're going to screw right into here, like this. All right, just like that. So you can move them this way, this way. And this way, the swivels allow you to do all that. So that's really what you want with, what if you're doing wood floors, for example, please do those too. It's one of the best companies in the local area, if not the best, family business. So there you go. All right, let's consider this video done. I'll just mention it uh, in the future that this is what we put together. So this will be the complete deal. All right. Thanks for coming in to see Custom Designs. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down. Let us know why that is and we'll try to improve. And um, we've got about 450 some videos. Whenever we go on a project, when I say we, me, or more in the wood shop, we try to talk about a lot of things uh, surrounded by a particular topic. So you can learn right along with me as I learned. So, all right, uh, the next uh, video we'll do will be, uh, we'll have all that trim off the perimeter, that trim there. And then as I spoke earlier on a video, we'll be digging away um, to see where exactly the, the studs are, or the rafters, joists, whatever we'll call them. One of those words is correct. <laughs> um, and then we'll mark out where every one of these guys are. So this is going to be 24 inch on center uh, because it's a house from 1903, I believe. All right. Hey, thanks for coming to my shop. Take care and uh, happy holidays.